So before this video starts, if you could go follow me on Twitter at WWSU, that would be freaking awesome. Stay up to date with all the latest and greatest pop culture based news. So it's been a while since we posted about Godzilla vs. Kong, which is one if not my most anticipated movie of the year but because of what's going on we don't know if this movie tenon and june and a bunch of other movies this year will be juggled around and maybe moved around for release date so warner bros studios and legendary pictures officially revealed a new plot synopsis for this movie which makes the movie seem like they are taking out one aspect of the movie so let's get into this. So, the original plot synopsis went like this. In a time when monsters walk the earth, humanity's fight for its future set Godzilla and Kong on a collision course that would see two of the most powerful forces of nature on the planet collide in a spectacular battle of the ages as Monarch embarks on a mission into uncharted territory, unearth clues to the Titan's origins. A human conspiracy threatens to wipe the creatures, both good and bad, from the face of the Earth forever. And then the new one says... Legends collide as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash on the big screen in a spectacular battle of the ages as Monarch embarks on a mission into fantastic untarted territory, unearthing clues on these titans' very origins. A human conspiracy threatens to wipe out creatures both good and bad from the face of the earth forever. See, what is the actual difference here? It's the word humanity. They've taken out the humanity part in the synopsis. So what does this mean? Does they mean it's going to have less of a human aspect of this movie? Because Godzilla, king of the monsters, the biggest criticism was there was too much human aspects in this movie. And to be fair, this... It's a fair criticism, but seeing as this movie is rumoredly less than two hours, it looks like they are taking out the human aspect of the movie, which generally is the biggest problem people have because they just want to see a movie of two freaking titans smashing each other in the freaking face. So, rumoredly on the internet, according to this website, Godzilla-Movies.com, at CinemaCon this year, we rumoredly were meant to be getting the first trailer. So, this website is stating that the first trailer is going to be delayed because of you-know-what. But CinemaCon is for cinema and theatre owners. So, just because theatre owners and cinema owners were going to get to attend this expo at the end of the month, doesn't mean this said trailer was going to appear on the internet. So, Warner Bros. and Legendary Pictures have neither confirmed if we were actually going to get a trailer. But seeing as it comes out in November, we are currently in March, six months before the movie, generally is when they would start to vamp up their marketing campaign. And now, because of you know what, James Bond latest movie is now coming in November and we don't know what's going to happen with all the other movies that are going to have to move around to see when they are going to have to come out. They're probably going to have to come out at a later date. So it is interesting how now everyone seems to think that the first trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong 2020 is going to be coming to San Diego Comic-Con when everyone seems to think that San Diego Comic-Con, like E3, which is the month before, has also been cancelled. So, San Diego Comic Con has officially been cancelled, I believe. So, what Warner Bros. and Legendary Pictures should do is they should do what any other studio does that doesn't want to fork out to make a trailer available at a big expo, is they should just randomly drop it online like everyone else seeming to do. So, this movie now rumorly has less humans, which... Is a really good thing, and as we know, there will be many Titans heading to Skull Island that we haven't really seen much of in Godzilla vs. Kong. We've seen Skull Island in the original King Kong, although he's not actually called King Kong yet. We do know this also, to me, implies this is not going to be the last 
MonsterVerse movie. Now, it is interesting that both uh, plot synopses that were official say Fuman Conspiracy, which aims to rid the Earth of Titans, both good and bad. They both say that. And the plot outline also makes relevant clues to the Titan monster's origin within the MonsterVerse and a human conspiracy. But what is interesting is, what is Titan's origin? It, they both say Titan's origin. And to be honest, we don't really know much of the kaiju's real, realistic origin thus far in Legendary Pictures and Warner Bros. MonsterVerse. We haven't really had a concrete, factually speaking, origin for any of these titans now we do know that there will be some other titans in this movie unofficially it's been revealed that careful for spoilers if i've ruined your life that mecha godzilla is going to be in this movie and also the post credit scene for king of monsters implied that one of the several heads of king kodora was taken so maybe we're going to get a mecha king kodora or Mecha Kodora or something like this. So it's not too far-fetched and it's not stretching too much to hypotheses or hypothesize that we will be getting some terrifying new monsters in this movie as the director has confirmed there will be a new monster or monsters inside this movie. What is interesting to me is to see how this is all going to play out because the new plot synopsis does imply a massive plot change which was the reason of the initial read shoots and the reason why the movie initially was delayed from March to November. So even if this wasn't delayed and you know what's happening in the world, this movie still would have got delayed either way. I really hope this doesn't turn out to be New Mutants, which has had so many different release dates. So the plot was changed because apparently the test screening didn't really like parts of the movie. So that was rejigged around and they did some reshoots to take out the human aspects of this movie, so to speak, which is always the biggest criticism of the movie. I just want to see Godzilla and King Kong be called King Kong for once for starters i just want to see these two mega titans smash each other in the face but let's be honest guys it's going to be exactly like batman versus superman and there's going to be no real winner because someone else is going to get involved who is going to be the lex luther in this universe is it going to be mecha godzilla or mecha king Ghidorah? it's going to be one of them unofficially We've already read plot leaks, which careful spoilers by ruin your life. It does imply that Mech Godzilla will appear in this movie, along with a plethora of other kaiju characters. Uh, I, I don't really know specifically what other king of the monsters or what other titans will appear, but rumorly there will be a bunch of characters, new monsters in this, because that's been rumored by the director for the longest time ever. So let me know all the requested content you want down below. I am really happy with how the Godzilla vs. Kong content's going on this channel. You guys seem to be loving this kind of content. I just wish I started doing this kind of content much, much sooner. So like I said at the start of the video, guys, if we ever hit 100,000 subscribers, we recently hit 80k, which is cool. I will be giving away a freaking awesome prize. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Let me know down below, guys. Please turn notifications on. Follow me on Twitter at w war stew that would really help me i'm really trying to grow my social media as it does help the channel and it would be much obliged and also if you've got any requested video or any requested content just let me know on facebook twitter instagram it's at war stew on every platform as you know there is a lot of movies that will be delayed now because of something that's going on in the world but for some reason you can't even say this on youtube so we can't say what i'm on about but you know what i'm on about also this will affect the video game industry as you know the ps5 and xbox x series could be delayed everything's going to be delayed but at some point everything will still come out so like always guys please like subscribe and comment i am going to be doing more marvel content on this channel although there seems to be no interest in marvel content on this channel for some reason at the moment i'm not going to blame youtube for that for some reason people don't tend to watch the marvel videos as much as they did don't know why but it's, it's a learning curve. We are a very small channel on this platform. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya.
later. But please follow me on Twitter and I will catch you in another video, guys, very soon. Catch you later. Oh,